Right, this is the insides of a flat screen TV that a friend gave me because it was broken and the idea is to fix it. Uh, it's quite some size this, it's 30 odd inches and uh, here's the main box here. I'm going to take the screws out, take a look inside and I'm hoping to find blown capacitors next to heat sinks because that's the usual for why these things break. The top's off it now and here's the internals power supply section, main board here. So, what do we see? Well, kind of what I was expecting to see. Uh, there are heat sinks around, but uh, the capacitors aren't exactly right next to them as usual. However, you can see the bulging, hopefully, on the tops of these three here, and of that one over there. So I'll replace those four capacitors and then uh, might try firing this up and see if it does anything. The board is now removed, so just after looking at, at it for a few seconds, there's a couple of uh, larger size diodes that will need checking because there's some heat marks on them. And of course, check the fuse there. Right, that's the circuit board back in place. And now I'm going to flip it over, plug it in and see what happens. think about the main control board is normally as I say the power boards but looky here we've got another bulge capacitor over here so I'm going to take a good look at these ones that are on this board and replace those that need fixing well I found two 25 volt 1000 UF capacitors uh, that were flaky that one and there was one there which is uh, this one here and if you can see the remaining light of the day quite the mess it made when it leaked. So I've got to clean that up and then I'll uh, replace that with another 25 volt 1000 UF. And I'll try it out again. And here we are, the TV is running. Change the diode on the uh, flyback side of a large transformer. And here we have no video input. And so it will switch back off again. So there we are, it's now on standby. If I uh, press it again, maybe it'll come on again. Let's see what it does. There we go. Picture format, full screen, no video input. How about that? We're up and running. Right, so uh, just to end with, I'll show what I replaced. Here's that large transformer. There's the big diode there, it's now got an FUF5407 on it. And uh, that's brought it back to life. So in summary, we changed a few capacitors on the power board and a couple of capacitors on the main logic board. Okay, there we are, all back together with the stand and the speakers on it. And it's in service. Okay, thanks for watching.